I've been stuck in Nintendo Switch land, and I couldn't be happier. Well, I guess I could, but as far as the gaming system, it's fantastic. Now, bear in mind, uh, the last game system that I played regularly was the Sega Genesis, which at the time was fantastic. And I still like a lot of those games, um, but I don't have access to them because I don't have the system. Uh, I played some games on the Super Nintendo, friends had it. I enjoyed uh, Super Mario, or yeah, Super Mario 64. That was awesome. I never owned that system. Um, but I've been kind of out of the loop. Uh, besides playing, you know, Asphalt 8 pretty much on Android. Anyway, uh, as far as the system, don't hesitate to buy it. It's fantastic. Just the, the fact that it's a hybrid in and of itself is awesome. Uh, I don't own a television, but I do own a uh, computer monitor and some speakers. And it's very simple to hook it up with the HDMI connector to the uh, monitor and plug the, the you know the speaker jack right on top. You know, you just plug it in doink, at the top. It's perfect. All right. Um, and then if I want to, uh, cause I'm not always in front of the computer, I can play it anywhere. Right. Um, but these are some must have, in my opinion, accessories for your Nintendo switch and let's face facts. Okay. It's, it's nice on its own, but there are some things that you will find, especially after playing for a while that you really, really wish that you'd had anyway. Uh, first up, Hmm. Yeah, I'll start with this. The Nintendo Switch case, okay? The official one from Nintendo is a ripoff. It's too expensive, and it doesn't have everything that this can offer you. Okay, I will do my best to uh, put a link in the description below. Um, this I got off of Amazon, Hestia Goods, Nintendo Switch case. They're really nice. You know, after I bought it... Um, they sent me emails, you know, I hope you're happy and stuff like that. That's nice. They're trying to build their brand. Um, this is the actual case. All right. Um, it's going to be thicker than the Nintendo one, and it's going to be able to do more for you. It's going to be able to hold more. Um, the top right there is thicker. You can put a lot of things in there. Uh, right now I've been putting uh, the Joy-Con controllers in there. But you can put, I mean, you could fit the uh, power cord if you really wanted to. It fits. Um, it has room for, I think it's 19 games right here. So, you know, the games stick right in there in the little uh, spandex thing or whatever. And it's built to last. This, uh, you know, the switch goes inside here. Hopefully you can see that it's a little dark. Um, there's a little pull tab here. Once your switch is in to pull it out and this closes up and the velcro holds it in and it has zippers that won't scratch stuff up and a nice durable zipper and it's tough okay it's a hard case it's great it's something that you really need to protect this device i mean it's i mean look at this thing this is not this is not super durable i saw it withstood a 1,000 foot drop from a drone. That's great, but I'm not trying to drop it from three feet because just how it works, it probably would it would fall and break. Um, so yeah, case, that particular case, I researched them. I think that's the best one. Um, the other one that I really, really, I'm glad that I bought because I was trying to make something in my mind to be able to hold this thing um, on my lap I like to sit in my chair in the morning and eat breakfast and uh, kind of hold something like on a pillow, all right, or whatever. In my case, I just put a pillow on my lap, and how am I going to hold this switch? It has this little dink of a, a kickstand. I'm not even going to pull it out. The thing is weak, okay? But that's the way it's made. My phone case has a better uh, better stand on it, but whatever. There's some uh, some positives and negatives with anything that's manufactured but what I did is I went and purchased the official, officially, whatever, licensed Nintendo Switch Play Stand. And I'm so glad that I did, because I was going to make something out of, you know, like 2x4, you know, some wood, whatever. And it would have just been clunky and nuts. 
it would have worked, but it wouldn't have been clunky and anyway. So you can see, you can hold it at different angles. And the cool thing is, is there is room for the charger to go in there while you're playing. So you could play for as long as you want and charge it at the same time. And that's what I do. Um, this is the item right here. And look how cool this is. It has these little tabs. You push them. And this locks in. There are like three different places where it can lock in. Different angles. This pulls out and holds the switch. There are these little, uh, I don't know if you can see them, but these little divots in there. And if you put it on just right, it sits in there and it holds it very uh, securely. So it's a must have. It's, uh, you know, you're going to want to play this thing on, on a tabletop or whatever. And you're not going to want to use that little uh, kickstand because it's, it's going to hold it at this angle like this. All right. And what are you going to do? Get down and like look, right? You know, table height. It's kind of ridiculous. This thing allows you to do that um, much more comfortably. And look at how thin that is. You can fit this, and I have done this right in the top of this case. Boom, you're done. And this is something that I, oh, oh. <laughs> you need to get a screen protector for this thing. I have a glass screen protector from Skinomi on here. It actually came with three of them, so you could goof up three times. Um, you can barely even see it's on there. It's tempered glass, and if you know anything about tempered glass, it's very durable. Um, and this comes with three, so you can goof up the installation, you can break it, whatever, but I keep it in the case. I bought the thing because I read a lot of reviews about people saying that uh, it gets scratched up without it. It makes sense. I mean, that you have to consider this is made for, you know, four-year-olds or, or whatever, you know, four to 400 years old. Well, not 400, but you know what I mean. That's made for a wide age range. And if they made something just with a glass screen, it would end up like many of the phones that you see out there with these, you know, these shattered look and these kids trying to play with this thing and getting hurt. So they made a compromise and intelligently you figure out what you need to do and you get this, get this screen protector. It's, it's a no brainer. It's not expensive. It was relatively easy to install. It was, it's kind of like <laughs> surgery. Every time I install some screen protector, you know, you go in a, in my case, uh, the most dust-free environment is the bathroom. I fogged up the, you know, the place with the uh, hot, uh, the hot shower running. That worked out beautifully. And the cool thing is, once I made sure every dust particles off, and I'm blowing on this thing, you know, you're just like, whoo, 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 you know, little microfiber cloth, and and looking this way and that. You really got to do that, otherwise you're gonna have a little piece of dust on there. And it's gonna drive you nuts. Okay, so I don't. I mean, it's just it's the like a millimeter off but you know what i've learned that you don't mess with that type of thing if it's off a little bit anyway um the thing is is great it doesn't scratch when i put it in the dock um because it's glass it's tempered glass people are saying that um putting it in the dock scratched it which would be a bummer man um it would obstruct uh, the view of your screen anyway you need to get a screen protector that's it's, 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 you have to do it. Okay. Just don't skimp. It's worth it. I'll put a link in the description for those three items. Um, and last but not least, I didn't want to do this and I thought these people were nuts. Okay. These are the Joy-Con controllers that come with it. Do you see my hands? <laughs> I mean, like I said, this is made for a wide age age range, and I was totally fine with it. I thought these people were nuts. I saw this uh, this video where this guy um, re-engineered the right Joy-Con. Okay, he put this thumbstick up here. I mean, because the guy is an engineering genius, right? And one of the things that uh, was said, I don't remember exactly, but the guy's like, I figured it out. I I. Got, uh, I'm going to have a thumb transplant or surgery or some, you know, some tongue-in-cheek thing. And the girl says, I don't have that problem with the uh, with the thumbstick being in the wrong place and the buttons being too small because I have hands the size of a pygmy marmoset. Well, I don't, okay? Look at this. And it's, it's in the wrong place anatomically, all right? 
I'm reaching for this stuff and your, your thumb is naturally going to go like this. I mean, I was trying to be slick and do this number, but you, you're naturally going to do this. And I experienced what they said in that video. My thumb hurt. It wasn't until maybe, I don't know, uh, three or four weeks ago. I'm like, this hurts, especially using, uh, you know, a game, playing a game that needed the, uh, the controls, you know, the camera controls a lot more. I started playing and I'm like, man, this hurts. So all that being said, I bit the bullet and Nintendo, you stink for this. You really stink for this because you basically made something that requires this, but you didn't give it, uh, give it to us. And that, okay, that's all great. This is a really cool concept. Okay. And I just played with my brother and I put it in the little dock thing and he played with it fine. I wasn't worried about him having long-term arthritic carpal tunnel syndrome uh, or anything like that playing with those you know for a little while in the grip. But I do say I need this thing and I hate to say it. The thing is expensive. Nintendo seriously? Seriously. Okay I can uh, the controller that I bought for my Android device is the same exact thing without the rumble pack and I paid less than forty dollars and the thing is awesome. Come on, man. Get off the high horse and do your customers right, okay? I, but that being said, the Switch Pro Controller is what you need if you're going to play ex an extended way and you are not like, you know, 15 years old and don't have any aches and pains, all right? Um, look at this, okay? And hopefully you can see that. This is where your thumb goes and it naturally goes to the buttons. None of this junk here okay same thing with this you can switch from you know this the, the stick to the the d-pad and you know press all these buttons just where they're supposed to be pressed it's large it's uh <laughs> it's like a controller supposed to be come on get, include a couple of these things give me a break all right you know i would have rather paid i don't know 30 bucks more for this controller to be included with the system you know have the joy con thing and say hey this is for the when it's docked all right and then you pay another 30 bucks for another controller if you want to that's what you should do nintendo you're being cheap and you got me all right but that being said um you also got me into some really fantastic gameplay with graphics and things that are just beyond what uh what I ever have played before. I mean, I'm playing the, uh, the you know, the Zelda game, and the storyline is nuts. I don't play it for the storyline. I play it for, you know, the, what it does for my mind and, the, you know, the puzzles and the adventure and different things like that. And it has motion control. These games have motion controls. And people are like, oh, motion controls stink. Dude, it's awesome. Okay. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm breaking these ice block things. And I'm just like, ah, boo, I got to move it this way. And it's, you know, boom, 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 boom. It's, it's exhilarating, man. I felt my heart boom, 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 boom. After this, uh, <laughs> this interaction trying to uh, free this mechanical elephant. All right. It was, it was pretty, pretty amazing. Um, and that being said, uh, some games that I would recommend, um, Super Mario Odyssey, that's why I bought the Switch, okay? Super Mario Odyssey is the best Mario game that's ever been invented, as far as I know. It's fantastic. Um, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, I am not a Zelda fan, I'm like, because I was, I was playing a you know, little Nintendo, ding, 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 little sword, little stubby guy about like this big, you know, this little blocky thing. I didn't understand why my friends liked it, it was junk to me. This is not that game you're exploring worlds. I was playing, you know, my dad was watching. He's just like, it's amazing how this guy can be animated and do all this stuff. It's really cool. Um, it's, it's, it's amazing, you know, exploring this world. Um, Sonic Mania, that was the first game that I bought when I was waiting for uh, Super Mario Odyssey to come out. I don't, it was like, I couldn't wait because it was like a week, but... Um, I downloaded that and it was fun just like the old uh, Sonic um, I, I, like I'm gonna show you these things see these little things these are the games um, I got uh, Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle I played that with my brother for the first time when I went to see him just days ago and it was berserk and fun and challenging 
and we played till two in the morning. So, you know, that that's that right there. So that's what I have. And so what I'm saying is, so you pay 65 bucks for a game. Actually, the Mario Rabbids one, um, when I bought uh, one game at full price, it was, you know, or whatever, it was it was half off. So, like, you know, that's, that's, that's worthwhile. But even if you're paying 65 bucks for a game with tax, man, we're talking hours and hours and hours of fun. And other things cost a lot more per hour. So it's very economical, too. Some people might not agree with me, but it's economical fun, all right? You could spend 60 bucks doing a lot of things that, you know, it's done, all right? This, you buy it, and it's hours and hours, months of gameplay. I was playing with my dad, and he's just like, I want to see you beat this thing. And I'm like, no, no, you, you don't understand. Like, you can't beat Zelda Breath of the Wild in one sitting. If you can, then I'm sure somebody has some speedrunner, but anyway... I'm going to cut this video off. That's everything that I got for the Switch. Everything I think you need. All right? Especially if you don't have hands the size of a pygmy marmoset. And man, I wish that they just came with that thing. But it didn't. So I, I sucked it up and I bought that. And the other things too, and I'm really glad that I did. It helps me to securely transport my Switch. It helps me to have more fun with uh, the device that I purchased. And, you know, somebody could gripe about... Oh, it doesn't have as, you know, it's not as powerful as the other these other ones and things. You know, oh, well, man, which, what other uh, system can you cart around in, you know, a backpack and play wherever you want? You know, it, show me. I mean, there, there might be something out there, but not as good as this. It's fantastic. I uh, highly recommend, and I hi highly recommend that you buy the things that you need to protect it and uh, to increase your enjoyment. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you can find some of these things yourself and save yourself some bucks. Hope I can help you do that and uh, save you from scratching up your stuff and keeping it as pristine as possible so you can have hours and hours and hours more enjoyment from your Nintendo Switch. You're not too old to play this thing. Older people than me play this. And uh, don't let people dissuade you from what you want to do based off of their own preconceptions and things like that that you know they want to put you into their little mold and say you need to be like this break that mold do what you want to do anyway thank you for watching i appreciate the views i appreciate comments on my videos um yeah it makes it worthwhile anyway uh that's about it and i will talk to you in another video bye